Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making matcha orange muffins. And I haven't seen a recipe for this anywhere. I've seen like matcha lemon muffins and just matcha muffins in general. But I thought that they sounded good and I had some oranges that I had to use up. So there's not really a recipe for this. I'm going to see if it works out. And I wrote down measurements that I think are going to work. Um, but yeah, and we'll see how it goes. So let's get cooking. So the first thing that we are going to do is preheat our oven to 400 degrees. So in this bowl, you're gonna crack one egg. The recipe will also be linked in the description. And to this, we are going to add half a cup of sugar. You can choose whichever sugar you want, liquid sweetener, whatever. We are going to use this cane sugar. So about that much. And then you're just gonna whisk it together. So to your egg and sugar mixture, you're going to take a tablespoon of baking powder and just add that in as well. Now we are going to add half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna eyeball this, but you can use a measuring spoon if you want. To this batter, now we're going to kind of make it all green with our matcha. So you can use whatever matcha you want. I think that the higher grade matcha you use, the more green it will turn out. So we are going to use this Japanese matcha. I'm actually gonna add in some chlorophyll as well. This is very, very optional, but it, it's very good for your skin, for your immunity, for your red blood cell count, things like that. And I think that it will make the batter a little bit more green. So I'm gonna add some of that in there. And I have a whole post on Instagram about the benefits of chlorophyll if you wanna check it out. My Instagram is at healwithkaylin. So your mixture should look something like this at this point. And now what we are going to do, I'm trying to read my makeshift recipe that I made. Um, I think we're going to add in our almond milk. So you can use whatever milk you want. I think a plant-based milk might be a little bit better, but I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of almond milk to the mixture, mix it all up, and then we'll add our flour. Almond milk, mine is vanilla um, flavored, unsweetened vanilla, but like I said, use whatever you'd like. Also, at this point, if you want to add vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste, that would be a good addition as well. This smells like a matcha latte. Really, really good. Now, to your mixture, that should look something like this. We are going to add two cups of flour. You can use whole wheat flour if you want. It might take a little bit away from the green color at the end, so I'm just gonna use a regular all-purpose flour. And like I said, two cups. So the mixture is looking a little bit too thick, so we are going to add a little bit more almond milk, probably around a quarter cup. Your mixture should be a little bit on the thicker side, as you guys can see, a little bit goopy. But now what we're gonna do to sort of jazz it up is bring in our oranges. So we're gonna squeeze the juice of one orange into the mixture, and then you're going to zest the orange as well, and put the zest of one orange in there so that it sort of tastes like orange. You're gonna wanna wash your orange first and then we're gonna zest it. We're gonna be using this sort of medium. So not the tiny, not the huge, <laughs> but this medium one. Okay, so once your orange looks a little bit like an animal got to it, I think that it should be okay. There's not that much zest that came out, but that's fine. 
gonna scrape the zest that's inside. All right, so once you have a pretty good amount of zest, this looks really nasty, you're going to add it to your muffin mixture. This does smell super refreshing though, so. Then you're just gonna slice open the orange that you're working with and squeeze all of the juice into the mixture as well. Just make sure that there are no seeds. It's okay if a bit of the flesh gets in there as well. It's just gonna add some extra flavor. And then you're just gonna mix everything together again. So I'm not sure if I'm missing something. I probably should have added oil or butter or something like that, but that's okay. I'm going to taste the batter. I know that it has raw egg in here, but I feel like everyone tastes like cookie dough or batter even though it has raw egg. Like I feel like it's a myth that you can get sick. I mean, I know, I know you can, but I've never known anyone to get sick, so. I just think that it needs more orange, so I think I'm going to juice another orange. I'm not gonna put any more zest in, but we're going to juice one last orange, put it in there, and then put them in the oven and hope for the best. So I think that this definitely needs um, a second orange just to really get that flavor out. I'm not sure if it'll disappear a little bit once it's cooked, but those are so it's such a unique flavor. And if you like matcha and you like orange, or you like, you know, exploring your flavor palette, exploring your flavor palette, expanding your flavor palette, I think that this is definitely a recipe to try. So the oven has been preheated for a while now, so we're going to scoop these into some silicone muffin tins and pop them in the oven probably for, I don't know, like 15, minutes and we'll see we'll see how they're going these are the silicone muffin tins that I'm talking about I got mine from HomeSense but you can pick them up on Amazon I'll try to find a link and I'll leave it below but I highly recommend these it's much less wasteful better for the environment and you can just reuse them time and time again and so you just always have them and it just creates a lot less mess as well so just line your muffin tray if you want to make a cake that's fine too you just have to cook it for longer but just line your tray and then we'll add the batter in So like I said, the muffins are gonna be cooking for around 15 to 17 minutes at 400 degrees. And right now we are going to make the glaze, I guess that's gonna go on top. It's just gonna be an orange glaze. So all that you need is powdered sugar and an orange. You can probably also use orange juice, but I think that a fresh orange is probably, probably a little bit better. So this is what the glaze looks like, which is the perfect consistency. But I'm just going to make a little bit more because we made 16 muffins and I want to use that other half of the orange as well. That's good. That's really good on its own as well. So when the muffins come out, we're gonna let them cool and then we're gonna ice them. But in the meantime, I have to clean up because if only you could see the mess that I've created. 2,000 years later. So as you guys just saw, the muffins came out and they look really, really good. So now I'm going to transfer them to a cooling rack and then I'm gonna let them cool for probably around an hour or so before we put the glaze on and then We'll see how they taste because I have no idea. 
So the muffins actually look really, really good. They're really hot right now, but they look spongy and soft. A couple of them <laughs> deflated a little bit. I'm not sure why, but I will keep you guys updated with the glaze and then we will do a taste test. You guys, it has been an hour or two. I've been editing and I feel a little bit brain dead. So I think that it's time to ice the muffins and then we will do the final taste test as well. So as you guys can see, a couple of the muffins have kind of fallen, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take them out of their silicone wrapper and then just dip them in the icing and we'll see how they look. It's the moment that we've been waiting for. It is the taste test. I'm a little bit nervous because it's a strange flavor, but cheers. Let's try. Not 100% sure why, but other other than that, it's really good. The orange flavor is so nice, especially in the um, glaze. And that is everything for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this little cook with me video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have tons of other recipes on my Instagram and my blog. The links for those will be in the description. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this. You can leave a like, comment. If you'd like me to recreate any recipes or if you have any suggestions for recipes, just leave them below and I will be sure to test them out for you guys. Have a great day. Bye. That was cringy. <laughs>